Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Photoshop and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some very cool stuff. What I'd like to do today guys is show you how to create this light text effect within Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, this uh, typography has a slight glow to it. And what I wanna do is show you the process of how to apply this to your typography. What I would like you to do is take what I show you today and then create some amazing stuff. Okay. How do we do it? What I want to do first of all is just select all these top layers here by pressing shift and I'm just going to press backspace to remove and I already have a textured wood layer image uh, already placed which I'm now going to actually lock to the screen. Now what I'm going to do is come through with my typography and let's type in something here which we're going to type in blue sky graphics. Okay, so I'm just going to select everything like so here by clicking and dragging with the mouse. And let's say we just make that a little bit darker for the minute. Wonderful. And I'm just going to keep that layer highlighted and make sure that I have my alignment tools highlighted up here. If I'm on the move tool and make sure that you're selected to the canvas here and you can align horizontally and vertically to the artboard. Okay, so now what do we need to do is duplicate this top layer here. So uh, the shortcut to do that is Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows. And to that bottom layer, what I'm now going to do is apply a, a filter to it. So have that layer highlighted and I'm going to come to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. If it asks you to convert it to a smart object, I would advise you to convert it to a smart object. And obviously you can dictate the radius here. I think around a radius of 130 would be quite a nice one. OK, wonderful. Now let's go back to our top layer here. And now what you need to do is just change the color uh, of the typography just to like a slight white color, as you can see, right? So I'm not fully using the white color, but near enough. And now what we'll do is come through and duplicate this layer again by pressing the shortcut Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows, like so. And now, as you can see, we have created that nice glow effect within Adobe Photoshop. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, please take a look at our website, guys, at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, there are recordings that are coming out on a weekly basis. So please, please, please make sure you take a look. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.